Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching, I'm glad you're here and thank you for joining me for another episode of Unwrapped Legacy Media and Computers. Now, if you join me in the last, second to last episode, where we open up all of the boxes of software that we ended up shipping back from Computer Reset and Garland, Texas, I posted uh, in the description or I commented in the video that what would you like to see unwrapped next? And the one and only comment that, that I received was Microsoft Word installing it from floppy disks. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to unwrap Microsoft Word. Hopefully it's 360K media. That would explain a lot. But let me get the whole box in shot. It doesn't specifically say it's either double density or high density, but because it says it's package includes 5.25 inch discs, I'm making the assumption that it is low density or double density. Still got that vintage software smell. So let's see what we have here. We've got two books, Microsoft Word version 5.5, sorry, yep, version 5.5, 5.5, printer information for Microsoft Word and using Microsoft Word. And I'm making another assumption that in the cardboard next to it is the floppy disk pack. All right, let's see. Let's go through the pack. We have the Word 5.5 template, which of course is for Model M style keyboards, not a Model F. Go through some of the loose stuff. The Microsoft product license information. Word 5.5 Promo PC, proof of license. The product number, oh, the registration card. Let's see, where's it going back to? Hmm. Redmond, Washington. Well, it's not going to the main campus, at least not the main campus now. Supplemental printers, disc order form. Hmm. Well, certainly not going to be able to return to my dealer and could try calling Microsoft in 30 days, right? Okay. Hmm. Don't think uh, <laughs> that would work either. And then, oh, what do we have here? A free newsletter enclosed, plus a free offer, free sample issue, it says. Oh, wow. Inside Word. Tips and techniques for Microsoft Word on the PC. And then we got a subscription saving certificate. Hmm. I am willing to bet all of this would come back in the mail as unable to forward, undeliverable. We also have a Microsoft Word getting started guide. I'm sure that has the uh, installation instructions and then Microsoft Word quick reference card. And then we have the disk pack. Of course, we read the license agreement, one PC only, promotional sample, not for resale, not for production. Etc. Ad nauseum infinitum. So I don't have my heat gun. We're not going to heat this up, heat the blue, because potentially that could warp 
the media, right? Which is think are sweet time. Right. Bear with me. The suspense of opening this up. Whether we're gonna have double density or high density or not. And I swear, usually the adhesive on things this old comes right off. Not this thing. Okay. So it looks like double density. One, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen floppy disks. Okay. Well, I'm just going to quickly go through the Microsoft Word getting started. Then we will fire up the 5150, 5161. Now, according to the back of the box, it says that the system requirements are two floppy disk drives or one floppy disk drive and one hard disk drive, which leads me to believe you can indeed run this off of a floppy. All right, so let's start. Yeah, I just want to see if we can get the hmm. have at least 384k of available memory 512 are recommended we have 640k and word requires three megs of disk space if we're setting up on a hard disk all right We will install on hard disk, but I'm just curious. Okay, so for 360K, we would also need 11 blank formatted disks, for which I don't have currently in this studio. So let me tidy this up a little bit and we will get started installing. So, this is take two of installing Microsoft Word 5.5 on the 5150-5161. Discovered something as I went along is disk three of the setup media is where it does the customization where you put in the company name that bought the product. So I wanted to keep this set of installation media as pristine as possible so I wanted to make a backup working copy of that disk 3 before we did the installation. So now that we're back at it, today is February 11th, 20, whoops, 20, 22. It is now six o'clock. Oh, 
what's going on here? Oh. So let's start the installation process again with setup on the A drive, and we're going to install this onto the second physical hard disk drive B. I will put an overlay right here with a timestamp of where you can fast forward to after this thing is actually installed. Because from take one of doing this, this takes a really long time to install on a 5150. Funny how it thinks I've got Hercules graphics in here. There's no Hercules graphics in here. Even though the printers are not hooked up, I do like to install the drivers for what I do have. I have an IBM graphics printer, which means service. And if you've watched a couple of episodes ago from the perspective of this video, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. The Pro Printer X24E, which also came back from Computer Reset, which needs a print head and some rust abatement. Also, I'm curious, for those of you who have a PC, XT, AT, or clone, what kind of mouse do you have? Did you go for the Microsoft mouse? Did you go for the Logitech mouse? Or did you go for the third party? Post your answers in the comments. We're going to say text mode, 5.5 function keys, insert is the overtype key, and of course two shades of blue and red. thing that I've noticed here when you just saw it yourself was it prompts for the insertion of the setup disk twice even though the setup disk is in there and there isn't a problem with the media. Knock on wood.
Okay, program disc two. This part takes a while. We're gonna go grab a cup of coffee if you're still watching, or go out and cut your grass if you got a small yard. On the 5150 with expansion unit, it takes a while to do this file combination.
morning what I've been doing is just been fanning through some of the pages to the guide to operations while we've been waiting. And it just echoes, boy, those were the days when we had some really good documentation. Respect then you had to. There was no web that we could publish and continuously update documentation on. A lot more hard drive activity now. I think we're almost about done the program file combination.
Okay. So if I didn't mention before, didn't notice this, and uh, had to scrap the whole capture of video up to this point, and thus the take two. I guess when we're going to be unwrapping from the future, we're just going to uh, look at all the media in a disc set and back up everything that has a right protect notch actually in the disc. the install. Okay, next disc, Thesaurus Samples. Since we're done with the packing of this, put that in a box of scratch media.
disc two. Printer's disc one, this should be quick, there was only two printers. I suppose when you think about it, in terms of perspective, installing software really hasn't gotten any quicker. When you think about how the sizes of things now and the time it takes to download off the internet, particularly Flight Simulator, the new one that has the photorealistic satellite imagery, etc. I mean, how long does it take for that to download and install? Learning Word Disc 2. 
only a couple discs left. Then we can launch Word 5.5. Oh look, it's a Microsoft Bob file. Not sure what is on the optional discs, but uh, let's just take uh, a quick segue and find out. This is optional disc one. Hmm. Okay. brings back memories. Although back in the late early, late 80s, early 90s, I was using Microsoft Works for DOS and not the full version of Word. print preview. Wow, okay. Let's kick it over to graphics mode and see what happens. 
Yeah, okay. save so thanks for watching the whole thing if you did thanks for watching it all gonna boot off the diagnostic disc to park the heads which leads to a couple of very important reminders especially if you're into retro computing like this search protect your equipment back up your data park your heads and remember that only you can prevent phosphor burn-in and always turn off your monitor when you're not going to be using it or going to be stepping away for an extended period of time. See you in the next video.